Have you ever considered taking your life, committing suicide? If you have, don't do it. Sadly, every year, almost a million people commit suicide. 20 times more try, and a lot more think about it. The cause for thoughts of suicide are many. Depression, physical pain, bad relationships, hopelessness, and financial problems are some. Well, whatever sufferings you experience, one thing for sure, you can't get away from them. There is no escape from troubles and suffering. Even if you take this life, the same problems return in the next. Indeed, the Vedas say that reaction for suicide is that one becomes a ghost before again acquiring a new body. The law of karma says that what we experience at present is a consequence of acts of the past and we can't escape our past by suicide. Suicide is not a solution to problems or to suffering. It simply transfers the inevitable from this body to the next. Instead, we need to take responsibility for our suffering because it's of our own making. We're not innocent victims. Even if the events and circumstances of our lives seem incredibly unjust or inexplicable, everything happens for a reason, and those reasons go beyond just this one life. That said, we should not despair. There's hope. The wisdom of yoga recommends two things. Rethink what life is really about and cultivate high levels of tolerance. Now let's start with the rethink of life. In many cases, people come to the conclusion that life isn't worth living because their purpose is wrong, that purpose being bodily indulgence. And when indulgence is obstructed, people think of giving up on life. But the real purpose of life is inner spiritual development, self-realization. In that effort, there's no failure. It harms no one, and it satisfies the inner self, the soul. So a rethink of where you've gone astray and how to recalibrate your life is in order. But the question still remains, what to do with the current suffering? That's the second point. The answer is increase your tolerance level. Cultivating tolerance means learning mind and sense control as taught in the Bhagavad Gita. And chanting mantras consisting of the names of the Supreme like Hari and Rama. These two practices empower you to make the most difficult situation bearable. So when life seems pointless, remember, you can't get away from your karma, but you can change your life to one that doesn't make more karma, a spiritually oriented life, a satisfying life. And in the meantime, tolerate reactions to the past until your spiritual practices bear their fruit and give you entrance into a karma-free existence, a suffering-free existence, a euphoric existence.